Hello world and welcome back to Meg's Minutes. If it's your first time coming, welcome to my channel. If this is not your first time coming, then of course, welcome back. So today I want to talk about some things that all these gurus that tell you how to get, oh, just start a YouTube channel. How do you get a thousand scrub? What? A thousand, scrubs a thousand subs in a day or ten thousand subs in a month um i really want to address what it is that they don't actually tell you about starting a youtube channel so if you're interested please stick around <music> Go ahead and get into what they don't tell you about starting a YouTube channel. There's so many people who uh, are out there trying to get people to start YouTube channels and by all means if that's what you want to do please do it but there's some things that you really need to know before you start your YouTube channel that most people don't tell you about or talk about. Um, I decided that I was going to start my YouTube channel because after viewing so many other YouTube channels um, and not seeing uh, other people that I could actually relate to, I decided to start my channel and maybe, and hopefully or maybe some people could relate to me as a single parent, just a regular girl next door type of person. And also I've been through a ton of stuff in my life. Um, I've failed at a bunch of stuff, um, relationships, businesses, uh, careers. And I thought that of course, Hey, sharing some of my failures or some of my perspective could possibly help somebody out there. And so that's kind of why I started my YouTube channel. Uh, I really just wanted to help other people and have somebody out there, um, who could possibly relate to me or relate to my type of, my type of lifestyle. So with that being said, um, let's get into the things that they just don't tell you about YouTube. First, I'm just going to be real with you. Talking to a camera is really weird. Like most people talk to other people or they text other people and it's an interaction and you're actually expecting a, a response. Usually you're expecting an immediate response. Well, when you're filming a YouTube video, you're not getting an immediate response. And it's like, I don't know how to describe it other than talking to an inanimate object, knowing that it's not going to talk back is just weird. And I don't know if I've ever heard anybody talk about that before, but it is weird to me. And it really takes some getting used to, uh, especially if you're not used to talking in front of people or just talking in general or giving information, like talking to um, a camera about like uh, basically teaching through the camera, maybe a little bit of a, a difficult transition for some people if you're not used to talking in front of people uh, in general. Uh, the second thing that they don't tell you is that lighting is important, especially if you're like using a uh, a phone for to film your, your YouTube videos. You really need to have good lighting. Uh, I don't have the best lighting, just to be honest with you, but I do. I have found like different ways to try to get my lighting a little bit better without uh, having to spend a ton of money. Um, one really huge thing that most people don't talk about is that the learning curve for YouTube and starting a YouTube channel can be huge. So it's one thing to get up there and make a video and start talking, um, but it's a whole nother thing to actually uh, edit the videos, put music in, put other graphics in, upload the, the video to uh, YouTube studio, um, decide whether you should make it public at first or private at first, um, like there's just, there's really a lot that goes into making YouTube videos and people make it seem like it's just, it's so easy. Oh, just record a video and upload it. 
it's not that easy. There's things that you really actually have to learn before you go ahead and just decide that you're going to make a video. Of course, if you go live, that's something completely different. But um, the learning curve uh, can definitely be huge being that, for example, it was it was huge for me. Like I'm a teacher, um, like I'm a little tech savvy, but I did not major in computer science or computer programming or advertising or marketing or anything like that. So like cutting and, and pasting things together, uh, film and all that, it it's it's definitely interesting. Um, and then of course there's all the other back end stuff like trying to figure out what tags to put in there, how to do a good thumbnail, what software or programs to use to actually put music on there or what softwares or programs to use to actually edit your video. Um, just like there's a ton of stuff that goes into YouTube that people don't actually really talk about. Additionally, getting monetized isn't as easy as people make it seem. So you actually need to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, which I did the math. I think it's like uh, 240,000 minutes, uh, which is a lot. And especially like if you're just making videos to try to help people, that's one thing. If you're honestly really just trying to help people, getting monetized is not that easy. If you're trying to do it the right way and grow your audience. Um, anyway, with that also, not everybody actually plays fair. Some people actually pay for subscribers. Some people will go on Facebook groups and do sub for sub. And of course, YouTube ha has put in some things to try to combat that. Uh, however, like, it's, it's not necessarily enough, especially if people are paying for subscribers or um, paying to have their videos featured or, you know, all that stuff. So not every everybody plays fair and you'll see people who have like one video up and they're monetized and you may have like a hundred videos and you're still only at, you know, 500 subscribers. So just keep that in mind too. Like it's not as easy as people make it seem, um, especially when you have people who are not playing fair. Uh, additionally, it can be really hard to be consistent, especially if you have a regular job and you have other stuff going on. Like me, I coach, I teach. Uh, I have three kids that play sports and they go to school and I'm a single parent and I, I got to cook, I got to clean. So I'm not going to lie. Like it's so difficult to be consistent trying to find time here and there when it's quiet so I can actually uh, film the videos without hearing my kids in the background because my kids are super loud, by the way. Um, or, you know, trying to find time to edit after a basketball game that I've coached or, you know, just it can be extremely difficult to be consistent um, when you're just a regular person and you got uh, you have other stuff going on that you have to take care of. Um, and last but not least, uh, I want you to be aware that there are people out there that sell pipe dreams. Like you'll see all these videos. Oh, you can get a thousand subscribers in a day or ten thousand subscribers in a month. That is not normal, okay? That is definitely not the norm. Uh, there are people who do it. Don't get me wrong. There's definitely people who, who can get that, but it's not normal. I've run across a whole lot of other um, small YouTubers such as myself that have just started out and we're out here grinding. We're out here working. We're trying to get, get people information. Um, and it's it's not it's it's not a pipe dream, okay? It's not something, those people who say that they can get people to 10,000 uh, subscribers in a month, a lot of times it has something to do with paying uh, up front or I actually watched the video and I have nothing against anybody who does this. Um, I'm, just, I'm just trying to keep it real and show you guys what actually happens. Um, I watched the video 
where a guy said, oh, well, I'm going to get this person a thousand views in two days, or I'm sorry, a thousand subscribers in two days. And so in order for him to actually do that, he created a web page. He got on Facebook groups. He did uh, YouTube ads to get people to su subscribe. Like it was crazy everything that he went through just to get that person a thousand subscribers in two days. So I just want you to be aware that all these people who are saying you can do this in, in a day or you can do this in 10,000 subscribers in, in a month, that is not normal. Um, and they don't tell you this. Like what's normal? What is normal? Normal is being consistent, uh, giving people value and just grinding it out. And eventually, of course, your following will come. I have a small channel. I'm not even going to lie. Well, I think I got like 30, 34, 34 subscribers at the moment. Um, but I'm okay with that. So I just wanted to, uh, I guess it's like a little rant, but I just want to do keep it real because there's a lot of people out there that sell pipe dreams and they make YouTube seem so easy and it's not. Um, please like the video if you uh, got some value out of it and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos and peace.